everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to um, I'm going to do a video on uh, the Little Book of Sloth. Here it is, the Little Book of Sloth philosophy. Um, there you go. Uh, I got this book in the works um, a, a couple of weeks ago, just as a little bit of sort of um, I don't know, just because it looked appealing and a little bit of light reading, I guess, and because. Um, I've already got, um, as you might have seen on another video, because I think I wore it on some of them, I've got um, a collection of t-shirts that say feeling philosophical on them, um, and uh, but which seem very up my street, because I do see myself as a little bit of a sloth, and so when I saw this book I thought that it complemented the t-shirts I got quite nicely, and I thought, oh yes, there's even a little book of sloth philosophy, I must get that. Um, so, um, yeah, so as I say, I bought that book from the works. Um, I'm, this, this, this this video um, um, is going to be in two parts. Um, for first part, I'm just going to provide a little bit of an introduction, and um, for second part, I'm going to be doing. Uh, it's going to be a little bit interactive. I'm going to be doing a quiz because um, it'll be interesting, a sloth quiz from this book. Because it'll be interesting to see what answers you got and to compare them with the answers I got, and then we can work, and we can compare notes. So anyway, so in this video, I'm just going to provide you a little bit of background, really. Um, on why I think I'm a, I'm a sloth, you know. Um, so, yeah, so as I say, if I had a spirit animal, it would definitely include a sloth. I'm definitely in a slow lane of life, there's no doubt about that. Um, it takes me at least an hour or two, uh, usually around two hours, in fact, to feel awake in the morning. I'm a very slow riser, um, and by midday I usually begin to feel sluggish. I'm, I'm, I'm doing okay at the moment, it's 12.30, I'm not feeling too sluggish yet, I say. Um, I, I have just been out walking in the countryside and I think that's kind of made me feel, you know, a nice invigorating walk um, up at the local garden, saw some sheep, um, you know, got some nice, it was drizzling, so it was quite nice refreshing weather to walk in, so I'm feeling not too slothic at the moment, but for, more often than not I do start to feel sluggish around midday, um, and I think I, I'm, I think I just burn a lot of energy because of the amount of general stress and overwhelm that I'm under day to day. My, li my daily living is very stressful um, and I'm very overstimulated and it's very hard for me to get going in the morning because it's really hard for me to get my brain into gear and to deal with a stressful world. Um, I mean, usually... Um, I am overloaded, I mean I am, I get overloaded very easily by even the smallest demands such as taking a bin out or even just getting dressed, you know, or moving from A to B can sometimes feel overwhelming, but you know, particularly when I'm on my own and I haven't got anyone there to kind of motivate me to do something, uh, when I'm with someone else it's easy, I think it's, it tends to happen more when I'm on my own and it's just dealing with the uncertainty of life and everything, it can be very stressful, um, so it all feels like a massive effort, life in general, that does not come naturally to me, um, but I mean, because life feels as though it goes too fast for my sloth nature to keep up, I would like to apply the book Slow Philosophy, the slow philosophy in a more systematic way to my life. Now, the slow philosophy um, that, that is in this book is an acronym. Um, the S in the slow acronym stands for sleep in. Um, now, to be fair, I do this anyway, in a sense that although I usually get out of bed by 7.30 a.m., um, this involves no more than sitting idle at the computer for the next hour and a half, sometimes more, before I can even consider making breakfast. The computer kind of wakes me up, so I'm just, but I'm really just like sitting there, kind of zoning out a bit at the computer. Um, I think a slow, a, a sleep in in the uh, um, a slow acronym <laughs> refers to staying under the covers in bed. Um, do any of you sleep in? Let me know. For L. In the slow method stands for leave phone at home. I abide by this one because although I always have my ancient 13 year old phone with me, it is 13 years old, it looks like something out of the dark ages, I mean literally something out of the 1980s I should say, um, it's very old my phone, it is usually switched off. For O stands for opt out, now maybe I need to do this one more, it means Embracing being a bit more unproductive and not doing the things we really don't have to do. If something makes us unhappy and we don't need to do it, opting out can be a good strategy sometimes in life. Finally, the W in the slow method stands for what's the rush. We can say this to ourselves when we feel under pressure to complete something, but really can wait a bit. 
now, um, yeah, so I think that's quite a handy, um, you know, sort of message to tell ourselves, you know, what's the rush? What's the rush? Because often I can feel like under so much pressure to get things done and like feels time's running out. So sometimes that can be quite useful to say that to ourselves. Now, if like me, you are a sloth, <laughs> you'll probably A, get up late, B, procrastinate, and C, get stuff done in your own time. There is even something, believe it or not, called sloth reading or slow book movement. This involves reading offline, carefully un underlining passages, taking everything in, reading aloud, and looking up words you don't know. I actually do all of these things anyway most of the time, so I'm definitely a sloth reader. Interestingly, do you say sloth or sloth? I say sloth, but I don't know. Do you say sloth or do you say sloth? Let me know. Anyway, I, I'm staying, saying sloth. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Um, but I think you can say it's slope as well, so, anyhow, um, so, I mean, there's also, so yes, yeah, so as I say, I'm definitely a sloth reader, likewise, slow or sloth food is all about consuming food slowly and with joy, buying fresh, local and seasonal produce, not feeling guilt about what you choose to eat, so although it does emphasise maybe eating quite plant-based foods, because obviously sloths are known for loving their leaves, you mustn't feel guilty about what you eat, so if you prefer chocolate, that's okay too, um, that's all part of the sloth philosophy, um, so that is all me to a T, really. There is even, by the way, a sloth goddess called Arurgia, Arurgia, which is which is Greek for inactivity, and she guards the entrance to the cave of Hypnos, the Greek god of sleep. Sloths are not social creatures by nature, and they prefer solitude. That's very me, and so, something else I can relate to, obviously. Now, having provided this introduction, I'm now going to move on to video two for a sloth quiz. So let's see what we get in the sloth quiz. So get your pen and paper ready. Moving on to uh, video two now. <laughs> 